Mary's. Enjoy this. Love you. And we wish you many, many more. All right. From the park. You're the best, brother. Happy anniversary. Mike and Marilyn, what's happening? I just want to wish you a happy 30th anniversary and many, many more. Y'all have been a great impress. Y'all have made a great impression in my life and on my wife as well. I just want to thank you for all the love and all that you can give to all of us and all the family. Continue to go strong in the Lord. Mom and Dad, I just want to let you know it's so hard to pull this off when y'all ask a million questions every day. But it was all worth it. Just want to let you know how much we love you guys. And there was nothing else that we could have done to show our love and support like this. And we finally pulled it off. Love you. Hey, Mom and Dad. <laughs> well, you can see we've been trying to do this for several months now. And I think we pulled it off. I love you guys. Happy anniversary. Hi, I'm Shay and I am one of the dancers and we will be dancing for the wedding anniversary party and we're gonna have really 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 we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna just turn up and just be hyped and entertain. say to Mike and Marilyn, y'all know y'all the best best people. Y'all my power couple. I, I don't know if I can put into words what you mean to me and my family. Um, by me being here as a testimony, Mike, that I can keep a secret. Because I know you probably thought I ain't said a word and I ain't heard you say a word about it. But I'm here, man. I love you, your family, your children. And, um, hey, brother. It was hard, man, to hold this in, man, but I couldn't. When I got the call, man, five months ago, I said, ain't no way I'm going to miss this, man. And Lord has it, man. I'm back here now, so uh, it's all good, baby. Let's turn it up. Get here, man, because I want to see the, I want to see the fish, the fish in the shoes you got, man. Hey, man, it can't be no better people than you and your wife to, to, for us to be here celebrating. I mean, couldn't be no better people, man. You the best, dude. Two of my best friends, um, you know, 30 more to y'all. Looking forward to it, man. Love you. Can't wait to see you. Parents are on the way right now, so they'll be here within 10 minutes. So when we flicker the light, that's really our cue for the DJ, and he's going to switch the song. And so uh, once he switched the song, it's going to be Donna Summer's last dance. As uh, soon as the doors come open, we just want everybody to stand up. Or we'll, we'll all already be standing up and say happy anniversary. So.
celebrating their anniversary, who shares the same anniversary day as my parents. Rick Chapman, all the way from California. <laughs> was the look, sweetie. All it took was the look. What is that? All I had to do was give him the look. That's all it takes. Judges, what's your answer on that? What we got? What we got, Mike? Red in faces. Uh, Mike? 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 About 18, so I guess the one you used yesterday. I go to a lady. I'm 24 too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far. You ain't cordless, baby. You ain't cordless. I'll be something like, uh, oh, girl, oh, girl. Look, look. My my cousin, she 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 do she do pedicures. She do pedicures and manicures, and I know your feet must be hurt. Cause you've been running through my mind all day. trying to pick up women because they usually came to me like my brother here said but uh, I did have one line that used to work here with something like um didn't I go to school with you <laughs> what are you doing Man, I'll walk up to him and say, damn, baby, you on the right track, you riding the wrong train, though. Since I was in sports, I would probably say, would you like to uh, play me some one-on-one? -on -one?
So tell us the best place that a real player take his lady out on a date. To Mitchell's, Steakhouse, ain't none of that uh, White Castle stuff. Burger King. No. I'm more than a surf and turf. <laughs> Judges, give us your best score. A 10. Uh, to explore a lady's mind, not just, you know, her body. I, I want to explore her mind and her heart and her soul, so I'm going to take her to my house. But listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, I'm going to cook for her myself. But then on top of that, on top of that, and this is proof, I take my dates to the Grizz's house and let them see for themselves until they get their advice. Hey, hey, um, hey, um, what, what's up? Can, what you think about her? And they make, a, they make, the, they make these blueberry pancakes. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, they blueberry pancakes with some, some, some syrup from uh Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. By the time he probably tell that story, he probably say, "I'm from Mike and Marilyn. They live with me." <laughs> Especially being from Detroit. He picked his woman up, dated her for a while, moved out to California, married her, lived with her for 31 years, and gave her three beautiful children. First, we clean up the Cadillac with the diamond in the back, sunroof top, and we cruise on down the roof, Prince. Sweating on that one.
sports. This has been very fun. And I'm so glad you all joined today. So, the Player of the Year award goes to Norman Schufer. Come on now. Well, the player wants to give a speech. It's only going to be about 15 seconds. Go ahead. Start now. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank these spandex that I got on is holding everything together so I can come up here and do these walks. I want to give Marilyn, Uncle Mike, Miss Marilyn, I'm sorry, Mama Marilyn, Uncle Mike, happy anniversary and uh, go Lions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mike and Marilyn, they're, they're special to, to me and my family. And Mike is one of the few men that I love. And it's only about a handful of them, and surprisingly, most of them are in this room. And, uh, you know, when somebody will do things, he's, he's done things for me that some people may be embarrassed to share. Years ago, my phone got cut off. Times were hard. Day and a half later, the phone's back on. I call my wife and say, you pay the bill? He's like, no. Uh, probably about a year later, I found out that it was Mike and Stan. And, uh, you know, when somebody does something like that for you, uh, it's, it's love. You know, uh, we adopted his family years ago. And I'm not the type of person that does things just to make people feel good. You know, uh, I love my family more than anything in the world. And when somebody wants to share that love for my family, what, what, else can you, what else can you say and do? Mike Marilyn, I love you. I understand you guys are going to Paris. Can I go? <laughs> Called six months ago. I was living in California. I said, ain't no way in the world I'm gonna miss this. Because we go way back. And Mike Marilyn, you know I love y'all to death. And Mike, you know, you always kept it real. You always told me what I didn't, what I didn't want to hear. And uh, to be here for your 30th anniversary, I missed a wedding, but for me to be here is just a blessing in itself. I love y'all to death, and uh, 30 more. Continue to keep it up, and uh, I love you. Uh, I would say back in the 70s when I met Marilyn and we went to high school together, he was on me about introducing him to Marilyn. And he begged me to introduce him to my friend. And I did, and then they eventually hit it off and got married and had kids and Tiara and uh, Tanisha are my grandkids. And I just want to say I love you both very much. Thank you. I know you guys since we was we had. Um, like the young man said earlier, that you would say things to him that he didn't understand, and later on in life he did. You said something to me a long time ago. He didn't really say it. It was a song. One of you two guys remember it. Solid as a rock. That was your theme song. Now I know what you meant by that, because you got 30 years in. That was good. More than friends to me. They're really my brothers and sister. We've been knowing each other for quite some time. Started off uh, with Marilyn looking at the home magazine and seeing a home that I had up for sale. And it just went from there. So I love you guys so dearly. Uh, 
to speechless, but I love you. Mike and I grew up together and I met Marilyn through Mike and they have just embraced um, everyone and all these people you see here, it is a testament to you and Marilyn how much you are loved for all the things that you've done. You're always so caring, you're so giving, you always have a good word to give someone. May you have many, many more years of blessedness. It is a blessing to meet someone and to be able to share your life with that person and to be with them for so many years. So let us raise our glasses and here's to you, to many, many more. I know anytime I need something, I can pick up the phone, call either one of them, knock on their door and they would be there for me. They're the most wonderful, kind people and they, they just bleed love. They just, they really make you feel loved at all times and I'm sure you all feel that way. <laughs> I love you. At two, three, four o'clock in the morning here. And you know what, to me, that's a lot of love to be up and enjoying each other that time of night. So, Mike, enjoy your 30th, 30th anniversary. Enjoy past tomorrow. I'm enjoying my 31st anniversary, and I'm here in Detroit. God is love. First sign of a fight, they leave. First sign of a disagreement, they run. They don't know how to look at each other and make up. You guys are a testament of what it means to be a husband and a wife. And the connection that you keep people together because how you two stay together and you keep other families together, some folks just don't know what you guys have done for them. They really don't. Thank y'all for that. I didn't look to do it for a clap, but I appreciate that. Mike. You and I talk a great deal as you talk with everybody else. You seem to spend a lot of time on the phone. I guess if your wife works for the Verizon, you can do that, right? Because you and I spend a lot of time on the phone and we talk about everything. And the time we spend on the phone, we got our track family here. I mean, the times we spend on the road on 10 hour bus rides and taking the kids around there. I mean, we can never replace that. And some of the lies that you've helped save some of the kids that you helped put through college, some of the folks that you helped today that don't share your last name, we know we love you and continue all success. Thanks. Stories, and we decided to put something together that kind of encompassed our parents' relationship and how they met. So we really want to tell you how it really went down. <laughs> don't be scared. Parents knew each other, but officially met at the corner store in line. It was on Mike's birthday of June 22nd. The year was 1979. Mike offered in his two-seater to give Marilyn a ride. The only problem was her baby sister Robin was by her side. With baby sister Robin, who always seemed to tag along, forced to make a decision, Marilyn told Robin to walk home. <laughs> And there sparked the beginning of love as Mike had seen. Or at least that's what happened that night within Michael's dream. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the flush of love's light, we dare to be brave. And suddenly we see that love costs all we are and we will ever be. Yet it is only love which sets us free. Mike and Marilyn have found love, and love always prevails. And true love lasts forever. And lo and behold came baby Tierra. <laughs> There is no love greater than whatever from up above and to stand before God and vow your eternal love. For when you met your soulmate, a rarity as they may seem, this happens to be the story all when Mike gave Marilyn a ring. For this union, the divine pair as a note is to a song, manifested a love that soared up from where you belong. Life was so grand with love and a baby in hand, but as we all know, life never goes as planned. To Marilyn's surprise, her tummy filled with another joy, and Mike couldn't wait to finally have his baby boy. Then the doctor said, congrats, it's a girl. Neither had a clue. So anxious for a boy, all her baby clothes were blue. For Mike not having a boy was certainly a killer. And with no name for three days, you should have named me Thrilla. <laughs> Then came marriage. Now Mike and Marilyn had two baby carriages. Never could they have dreamed all of this in the beginning. Then one day, Mike realized he had a house with only women. <laughs> Marilyn always wanted a junior, and for his baby boy, Mike was ready. 
and soon came the birth of a buddy, came the birth of buddy on the 15th of February. And in the hospital that day, they never looked behind. So happy anniversary. Now it's hammer time. <laughs> everybody coming out here and helping us celebrate my parents 30th wedding anniversary this has been this is a, a very rare occasion it's been plenty of times where I had my friends are actually shocked for me to say my parents are actually still married <laughs> so obviously that's a very rare thing but I would like to say my mom and my dad have been my rock in my life for the last 33 years and there is nothing that they would not do for me. Sometimes I might not like what they to try to actually help me with extra stuff. But, but I always appreciate it and I always realize it's better for me in the end than at that moment. So I would like to let y'all know my head is not as hard as y'all may think it is. <laughs> given like those circumstances how my parents are there. I don't know if, I'm sure a lot of y'all know, but I don't know if everybody knows. I was diagnosed with MS five years ago. And during that time, my parents, as soon as I called my mom and my doctor to talk, called and told me, both of them were, they came and picked me up. We're going to doctor to doctor to doctor, hospital to hospital. They're trying to find out what's wrong, what's the consequences, can I, will this affect me in the long run? And probably earlier this year, late last year, I had flared up and had an episode and I kept telling my parents, like, they're not giving me my medicine. Cause I got tired of taking the needle. I wanted to go to the pill. <laughs> so my daddy literally came over to my house, said, give me the paperwork. He went to my doctor. He said, your medicine will be on the way in three couple of days. <laughs> And that's the type of stuff that my parents do for me. And with that, I want to say I love y'all to death. And I wish y'all many, many more anniversaries. And have a safe trip to Paris tomorrow. Mom and Dad, you, you guys know how much we love you. I mean, we have been at this party for six months. And y'all are so nosy. Y'all really are. <laughs> <laughs> even to this day, even earlier this day, I was um, in the car and I was um, at White Castle. Was, we were running all day. We didn't get a chance to eat. My dad's like, where are you? And I'm supposed to be in Atlanta. And I, on, my, on my toes, I couldn't say White Castle because my dad knows every restaurant in Georgia. So I couldn't say White Castle. I was like, oh, witness. And so um, I just want to let you know that we, we, there was no option as far as doing this uh, party for you because this is only a percentage or uh, of how much we love you and our gratitude that you know allowed us to show you this day and uh, i wanted to share a special story about my dad and it, it's an older story and a lot of you are familiar with this but when i ran track um i had my state meet and my my graduation on the same day and so there was no way for me to get to my state track meet and then go to graduation on the same day. And I really wanted to go to graduation. And so um, later on that week, my dad was like, a helicopter's gonna get you and take you to graduation. I'm like, what? My dad called Fox 2 News, had their helicopter pick me up at my state track meet. Right. to make it to my graduation.
graduation on time. Wow. You make stuff happen, Dad. Oh. And yeah. I, I'm just like you. I know we both have a heart and goal. Don't cross us either, because we'll set it off. <laughs> but Mom, you've taught you taught me so much, and, and mostly to walk in the spirit of humility. And you're so grounded, and you're so classy. And you know your your words and your wisdom. You know, I, I will never forget one time I was telling you about a situation. You're like, you're not what you, what people call you. You're what you answer what you answer to. And I will never forget that because if you don't call me Rocky or Tanisha, then you must not be talking to me. Or Buttercup, as my dad calls me. Because Buttercup does no wrong. <laughs> and if you see me at the bar, Buttercup doing a drink, it's just water. <laughs> but I love you so much. You, you two really showed us how much it is to give. And dad always says, it's not about you and, and giving is not for you. And he's like, you know, I don't need people to pay me back. God pays me back. And he has paid y'all back. And he, he's paid us with blessing us with you. And I just want to let you know how much we love you. Wow, this is a fabulous party. You really took after me and put an event together, <laughs> didn't you? It is so much love in this room. I mean, I, I told them they had the ground covered. I mean, friends, family, church members, and co-workers, current and, and past. I mean, just everyone that would that we would invite to our party is here. So we love you, and we thank you for coming out and celebrating with us. I, I'm, I'm just speechless. I mean, this... <laughs>